lost track of time. I'd better go and check on my family. Bow and arrows for training in the yard. This past summer, Father and I found a magical glowing rock in the forest. It looked like amber, and now we use it as a nightlight. Handsome bird that gave me a scar on my cheek. Half of the cupboard is full of my creations. I like crafting things out of stuff I find in the woods. The mousetrap is ready to strike, luring its victim in with a tasty piece of cheese. Father is cleaning his rifle. I shouldn't distract him without good reason. My mother's diary. She went missing five years ago, and this is all we have left of her. The way Father tells it, Mother was a very scholarly, spiritual person. She spent every spare moment in the library. We tried to make sense of her entries, but Mother wrote in an ancient language that my grandpa taught her when she was little. Lars, my teddy bear is missing. But you two are inseparable. When did your teddy run off? We were playing hide and seek in the yard. He usually hides behind the well. He thinks that's a good spot, silly teddy. But he's not there today. We'll find him. Don't worry. Cupboard of food. Father and I love shooting in the yard. Yesterday, I was only a couple of points away from beating him. A mean crowd tore off the teddy bear's head. How can I make it open its beak? I would like a piece of cheese. the teddy bear's head. Now I just need to find the body. There. The teddy's been found. Now I just need to sew the head back on. Ellie, can I borrow the key to your little cupboard? Maybe. What for? I think it'll speed up the search for your lost teddy bear. Really? All right. Take it. Catch! Teddy's back. Time to tell Ellie the good news. Look who I found behind the haycart. Tell Teddy not to play with crowds again. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Sam, come here. Yes, father? It's meant to be a cold night. Be a good lad and chop some firewood. Right away, father.
This stamp is where we split locks. It's been here for as long as I can remember. One heavy axe. Father wants me to grow up to be like Hercules. Just need to carry the firewood into the house and I'm done. Done. Good job, son. Put the firewood in the stack by the fireplace. <sighs> I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. My beloved Teddy, I was so worried the crows had carried you away. Promise me you'll never go missing again. <sighs> I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. You. It's me, Marta. Remember how much fun we had playing tag last week? I've come to take you back to your family. I have a present for you. See how the pebbles glow. You'll gain power and become a part of a grand scheme. Come out and try it on. If you don't like it, we'll leave. I promise. My whole body feels shivery, but in a nice way. I feel like I'm the queen of the world. I am pleased to welcome you, sister. But you're not the only child in the family, correct? That's right. I have a brother. Excellent. Where is he? Here. He's right up there. I live in a tree hollow nearby, so I am always on hand whenever I'm needed. A house spirit? I always thought they only existed in fairy tales. My dear Lars, the world is full of magic, but it isn't revealed to everyone. Here, drink this draft of honeyberry. It will calm you and give you energy. Who attacked our house? Oh, Lars! Something terrible has happened. Evil has come to our land. In the last month, children have been going missing, and forest dwellers have been perishing with a certain diadem. One little girl's mind was enslaved, and now she's gathering a whole army. A diadem? My sister, she just put it on. Dark magic. Now she is in the service of evil. Marta, Dorothy, and now Ellie. Things are getting worse by the day. The mystery lies in the butterflies. They are the ones controlling the forest people's minds while devouring their flesh from within. What do we do? How do we save Ellie? Did you see the giant with Marta? Ellie will probably get something like that as a servant. Simply going in and taking Ellie won't work. We need a plan. Go to the town, find my brother. He lives in the tailor's house. He even helps with the sewing and the housework. And he's awfully inquisitive. He's sure to know more than me. 
take him some of my very own homemade mushroom cakes. They're his favorite. Thank you, Bakhtorn. It was good to meet you. I'll be waiting for you and Ellie. May the forces of nature help you.